Hi, my name is Charlie Bales, and I was recently asked to show that a German Shepherd can be taught to load into a kennel in a car by using positive reinforcement training. Max knew how to load into the car, how to load into a kennel, but not both at the same time. This film shows his first and second lessons. He's not perfect, but he quickly got the idea. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed uh, making it for all of you. Our first portion is loading into the car. Max already knew this lesson, so we open the gate and tell him to load up, and he goes right in the car. Very good. And our second session is loading into the kennel. He also already knew this lesson, so I got his attention and I asked him to load into the kennel. And he got it. Yay! So I called him out to me. Oh, he's so happy. So this next section is learning to load into the kennel. I hope you enjoy the rest of this. Max defaults to sitting in the back seat when he loads into the van. I asked him to load into the kennel, and he became confused, and he licked his lips and looked around. So I pulled out my treats, and I waited for him to look at the kennel. When he did, I said yes, and then I gave him a treat. I then waited for him to look at the kennel a second time, and I said yes, and this time I placed the treat in front of the kennel on the floor so he would have to get off the bench seat and closer to the kennel opening. It was at this point Max chose to enter the kennel. He was rewarded for that. I then backed up and called Max to me. He's a little distracted because we don't normally work off-leash outside of the fence. So I waited and got his attention and told him to load up. And to my surprise, Max jumped straight into the kennel. What a good boy. So I backed a little further away and called him to me. And waited for him to get out over his distraction. And got his attention. And then told him to load up. And to my surprise, he did it again. This is Max's very first lesson, so uh, we have never done this before with these two combined together. So I backed up a little further and called him to me, and this time he came into a heel position. Good boy. And then I told him to load up, and this time he's a little confused. You can see he almost went into the, car, into the kennel, and then he defaulted to his back seat. So I called him out which he doesn't always do right away because he's defaulted to staying in the car until I pull him out with his leash. So he got a reward for coming when called and I told him to load up and he defaulted again. So this was my fault. I had gone too far and he was confused. So I came back to remind him where the treats were happening and I got him back in the kennel. Good boy. And he got his reward. And then the cameraman's going to have problems here for a minute because I had to get some more treats. And after that, I backed up and I called him out and I didn't go near as far. I started at a, at a position I knew he was successful and I told him to load up and there he goes. What a good boy. So now he's really getting into it. He's starting to figure this out. So I backed up just a little further and he's defaulting to a heel position now. What a good boy. Load up, and there he goes. And this was excellent work with him because he had never done this before, and this is our very first lesson. So at this point, I tell him, our lesson's all done. And he goes, what do you mean it's all done? Look at that. Silly boy. <laughs> so he got a treat. And he goes right back in. <laughs> He's enjoying this lesson. I waited a few minutes and set up the camera and brought Max out for lesson two. Now, if you noticed, he has already defaulted and loaded into the car because the door was open. So I called him to me and he moved into a heel position. He's much more comfortable with the lesson now and I told him to load up. But he's not quite sure, so we think about it and we default to our back seat. So I've gone too far for him. So we try it again. 
Oh, nope, that didn't work. So we pull him back out. And this time, he makes it. So he gets a reward for being in the kennel. And then he goes over to sniff the camera. You've always got to sniff the camera. So he comes back, and I tell him to kennel up. And this time, he's confused because I've used a new word. So I move even closer. And he kennels up, and he gets a reward for that. So I try again, and I tell him to kennel up and he's still a little confused about it. So I redirect him and then he gets several rewards for being in the kennel. So this time I ask him to kennel back up after I get him close to me and reward him for being a good boy and he goes straight in. Yay Max! And then I have to get more treats. So now I tell him to kennel up. Ta-da! Very good. So we're adding distance one step at a time. Kennel up. As you see, Max is really starting to get into us. As, he, as he's getting it right each time, his confidence is increasing, and he's actually quite happy to be doing this. Kennel up, and in he goes. Now, after getting that a couple of times correctly, I move a little further away and I ask him to kennel up and he thinks about it for a minute and I call him back to me. Okay. You know, we can make a mistake and still be okay. So kennel up. Yay! There we go. Good job. So now he gets his reward for being in the kennel, and I ask him to back up into the kennel and settle. And then he gets a reward for laying down in the kennel. And I go back out, and I call him to me, and I tell him to kennel up, and then settle. And then he gets his reward. And he's starting to get the idea now. So I get some more treats. Now remember, this is only our second lesson. So Max is not perfect at this yet. But he's getting very close to it. And he comes back out to me. See how happy his body language is? And you go ahead and kennel up. And this time, I wait. And he settles and he gets his click. I'm using a clicker this time and it's being a lot clearer what he's being rewarded for. There we go, and he comes back out. See how relaxed his face is and how bright he is and how much he's looking at me and his ears are forward? Kennel up and settle. There we go, and he's doing that now as a, as a cued behavior together without my telling him to settle. And he gets two rewards because that's exactly what I want, so I want him to jump in the kennel and then lay down. And here he comes. Look at that bouncy attitude. Good job. Kennel up. And he turns around. And he lays down by himself. Perfect. At this point, Max is pretty pleased with himself because he's figured out what I'm asking of him. So I call him. See, he's not as distracted now, though he has his moments, because he's understanding better. And that slowness is because I'm at the verge of being too far away for him. Very good. He's so happy with himself now. Uh, he's not really sure if that's what I want, so he's going a little slower, waiting to see if he's going to get told to do something else. But he got it right, so he got three rewards for being smart, and then we ended on that note.